Tesla versus GM. The surprising secret behind their totally different motor cooling systems. Hey, EV fans. This is Hussein, your host, and welcome back to EVpedia, your favorite pit stop for everything electric vehicles. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most fascinating engineering showdowns in the EV world. Why Tesla and General Motors cool their electric motors in completely different ways. Now, you might think cooling an electric motor is a solved science, but trust me, what we're about to uncover will change how you think about EV design forever. Stick around till the very end, because I'm going to reveal which method might secretly shape the future of electric powertrains. Before we begin, a quick disclaimer. This video is created for educational and commentary purposes under fair use, and all footage or references belong to their respective owners. So, here's a question to kick things off. If you were designing the perfect electric motor, would you prioritize simplicity or maximum efficiency? Think about that while we explore both Tesla's and GM's radically different approaches. Let's set the stage. Recently, Sandy Monroe's engineering firm, Monroe & Associates, decided to tear down two electric motors, one from the rugged Tesla Cybertruck and another from the family-friendly Chevrolet Equinox EV. Now, these two motors might do the same job, but what Monroe's engineers found inside couldn't be more different. Each one represents a completely different philosophy of engineering, Tesla's high-tech precision versus GM's old-school mechanical genius. Let's start with General Motors. GM's approach to cooling is all about simplicity and reliability. Instead of using complex plumbing or power-hungry pumps, GM took a clever route. They used the motor's own gears to literally fling oil upward into channels built right into the casing. Imagine the motor spinning, splashing oil upward, and then gravity pulling that oil back down like a gentle rain over the entire motor. This oil rainfall cools everything evenly, the copper windings, the powerful magnets, and even the cast metal housing. It's a beautifully simple idea. No extra pumps, no extra wiring, and fewer parts that could fail down the line. The best part? It doesn't drain any power from the car's battery just to stay cool. It's passive, it's efficient, and it's cost-effective. This same basic concept was actually used by Toyota years ago in the Prius C. It worked brilliantly for compact hybrid systems. But like all clever ideas, there's a catch. GM's method depends entirely on motor speed. When the motor spins fast, like when you're cruising on a highway, it cools beautifully. But when you're stuck in traffic or parked on a hill, that self-flinging oil doesn't move as efficiently. That means the cooling effect can shift or weaken depending on the car's position or speed. And that's a potential problem for EV motors that can spin at jaw-dropping speeds of up to 10,000 revolutions per minute. Now let's switch gears, literally, and talk about Tesla's approach. Where GM trusts physics, Tesla trusts precision engineering. Tesla's motors use a high-pressure oil pump that forces oil through specific channels. Instead of letting gravity and motion do the work, Tesla sends oil exactly where it's needed most, directly over the magnets and electrical windings. This level of control means a motor can maintain ideal temperatures in critical spots without wasting energy cooling parts that don't need it. Here's where it gets really interesting. Because Tesla cools so precisely, the outer casing of the motor stays hotter, while the inside stays cool. That might sound like a bad thing, but it's actually a clever trick. When the casing runs hotter, its electrical resistance increases, which helps reduce a problem known as eddy currents. Now, for anyone wondering, what are eddy currents? Picture them as tiny whirlpools of electricity swirling inside the motor's metal parts as magnetic fields rapidly flip back and forth. They waste energy and generate unwanted heat. But by keeping the casing warmer, Tesla's engineers reduce the strength of these rogue currents, improving efficiency and reducing wasted power. This precise control also allows Tesla to use cheaper neodymium magnets instead of costly rare earth ones. That's a big win for both performance and cost reduction. However, precision comes at a price. Tesla's design needs at pump, plus extra plumbing, additional machining for custom channels, and more complex assembly. And yes, that pump draws energy from the car's battery, so it's not entirely free. In the simplest terms, GM's motor cools itself naturally. It's the low-tech genius approach. Tesla's motor is actively cooled. It's a high-tech surgical method. One relies on motion and gravity. 
the other on pumps and precision, GM's design is cheaper, simpler, and incredibly reliable. Tesla's is smarter, more efficient, but also more complex. What's amazing here is that both companies are right. Both systems work beautifully for their goals. GM's design suits a mass-market EV like the Equinox, where cost and durability matter most. Tesla's design, on the other hand, suits high-performance vehicles like the Cybertruck and Model S Plaid, machines built to push boundaries and extract every ounce of efficiency. So, at the heart of this debate is one question. Do you engineer for simplicity, or do you chase perfection through complexity? That's the fascinating split we're seeing in the EV world right now. And maybe that's the most exciting part. There's no single right answer. The EV industry is young, innovative, and still experimenting. What Tesla and GM are showing us is that there are countless ways to reach the same destination. Both are crafting their own version of the future, one oil droplet or one pump stroke, at a time. So what's the takeaway here? In short, GM is trusting physics, while Tesla is trusting plumbing. Both paths lead to innovation, and both will likely evolve even further as electric vehicles continue to dominate the roads. And here's the answer to our opening question. If you were designing the perfect electric motor, which should you choose, simplicity or efficiency? Well, it depends on your goal. If you want reliability and low cost, GM's approach makes perfect sense. But if you want to squeeze out every bit of performance and control, Tesla's method is the one to beat. Personally, I think the future belongs to a hybrid of both, combining GM's reliability with Tesla's precision. That balance could lead to the most efficient, affordable EV motors yet. Now I'd love to know what you think. Which cooling method do you believe will dominate the next generation of EVs? Tesla Precision or GM Simplicity? Drop your thoughts below. Before we wrap up, here's a fun fact. The concept of oil fling cooling dates all the way back to the early 1900s in mechanical engines. It's just been reimagined for the EV age. That's the beauty of engineering. It's never really new, just endlessly evolving. If you enjoyed today's breakdown, don't forget to like this video. We're aiming for 10,000 likes. Leave a comment. Let's reach 1,000 comments and hit that hype button to boost EVpedia on YouTube's leaderboard. Every hype helps us reach more EV enthusiasts like you. And of course, if you haven't yet, subscribe to stay charged with the latest EV insights and stories that power the future. Thanks for watching, stay electrified, and I'll see you in the next video right here on EVpedia, where the future is always plugged in.